Hello Space Watchers and welcome back to another video of Space Watch Global and today we have the pleasure to have with us Zhao Chen Chen, tech reporter at CGTNT uh, and uh, she is transmitting live for, from the 15 Air Show China held in Zhuhai which is from South China. The air show is still ongoing so we just had this privilege to be here with her and she can tell us what's happening. So Chen Chen, welcome. This is your first time on Space Cafe. I'm really happy to have you here. How are you doing? Good, good. Thank you. Thank you so much, Emma. Thank you. For, uh, thanks, uh, Space Watch Global, for having me. Fantastic. Um, so, so yes. Yes. Um, the Airshow China is held in Zhuhai, and this is a biannual show. So up to now, it's been 30 years since it's first held. And the show has attracted uh, a lot of space and aviation enthusiasts, as well as exhibitors from all around the world in the sector of aviation and aerospace. So naturally, a lot of spotlight is about the new stealth fighter uh, for this year is the J-35A, among others that are on display and during the aerobatic shows. That aerobatic show is certainly something super exciting to watch when you are actually there at the venue, uh, right by the runway, and just hear, listen to the, um, what they call, what are those called? The, 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 the sound, the, noise. The, son <laughs> the sonic boom, the sonic <laughs> boom, yes. Um, and in addition, unmanned aerial vehicles are also one of the um, key highlights this year. So um, as well as um, this year's conference and exhibition emphasize the low altitude economy and commercial aerospace. A new exhibition hall is completely dedicated to the low altitude uh, economy featuring many eVTOLs, so meaning the electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. And there were also two days of conferences that was focused on commercial aerospace in China. So not to mention the wide variety of products on display. So Fantastic. that's basically the general highlights. So a big air show, and uh, so it happens also in Europe that sometimes air shows, they include also a space component. So maybe focusing more on the space part, uh, did you see anything particularly interesting when it comes to space? Of course, uh, me personally is very interested uh, to learn more the latest development of um, China's aerospace as well as globally. Um, so for the space sector, uh, regarding, uh, I think the, the focus is more on the commercial aerospace that the country is trying to push him forward for. I found so many exciting developments. The first exciting thing is about the upcoming launches of China's reusable rockets. There are a couple of them like literally lined up for launches next year, aiming to put in put their uh, reusable rocket into orbit. First is Deep Blue Aerospace has announced that, that their plan to launch is Nebula 2, I believe, uh, in March. And Land Space Jutia 3, the reusable one, is targeting a June launch. And Galactic Energy is aimed to launch in the first half of 2025. I also had the opportunity to speak with the representatives from all of these companies. And so be sure to check out my videos for more details on that. And Absolutely. Um, so free reusable launches and just in the first six months, basically, of 2025. Yeah. Interesting. Yes, okay. yes. And more to come in 2026. Also, I don't know if you remember, um, for for Deep Blue Aerospace, uh, which is one of the early starters uh, for, for the commercial sector of uh, aerospace in China, did this uh, kind of like it was online sale, ticket sale for their suborbital travel. Um, and they sold two tickets during that live stream happening in mid-October. And that has really created a buzz among all the aerospace um, uh, sectors Enthusiasts. <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. So among and, all uh, these I think things... Among all the things you see, you saw in the space part, which one do you think is the most impressive or the most relevant, even when it comes to the Chinese space strategy for the future? Right. Um, I think um, the main highlight, I would say, is the commercialization of aerospace in China. So the 
uh, reusable rocket launches that I just mentioned, a main driver behind these launches is the development of China's satellite constellations on the low Earth orbit. Uh, I hope uh, I don't know if you, some of you may have know, learned that China plans to deploy two uh, or more satellite constellations with the first batch of 18 satellites already launched for the Thousand Sail constellation, also known as the G60. And by 2030, China plans to have around or more than 40,000 satellites in the LEO. So creating that will create a significant demand for launch services. And what's even more exciting is that these launches will drive the entire space industry from satellite manufacturers to materials suppliers. And all of them are also uh, present at the air show. So mm -hmm. you can see a whole booming of industry and uh, the growing um, economic, uh, growing economy from this sector. Fantastic. Also, Obviously, we... the aerospace, yeah. Yeah, the commercial aerospace is also part of this new productive, new quality productive forces that China uh, tries to promote. So I think that's why uh, it's helping the whole industry growth. It's very interesting now we, when we will see this deployment of mega constellation from the US and from China, what will happen to air traffic and air regulation. I think this is something that we should always keep in mind as in our dialogue between the West and the East to understand how we're going to regulate this mega constellation because you mentioned, mentioned yes. 40,000 satellites and uh, Starlink is going to probably match something. I think they already have 6,000 plus and they're plenty other um, a similar number. So we will certainly mm. see an increase in mega constellation satellites and we will need to work together to understand how we're going to regulate those. One. What do you think, Chen Chen? Certainly. Um, I think uh, there are already so many concerns regarding that. For example, uh, SpaceX Starlink already had two or three uh, that were, that were uh, they, they, they got their orbits lowered and almost... Uh, crash into China's space station. So we certainly need to need to uh, work together to develop um, regulations as well as uh, um, recycling and also uh, maintenance of all of these satellites. And it's just going to be, there's just going to be more of them. Um, yeah, and uh, I think um, uh, the discussions for that, uh, we need to promote for more discussions on, on these regulations too. Uh, I think I feel like uh, from from the past conferences and the and the events that I've been to, um, the satellite regulations on the satellite part has been less emphasized. So I think that's something we can all uh, to work on together. Fantastic. And Chen Chen, what's the next important conference in China that you recommend uh, our readers and listeners to watch uh, to keep an eye on? Uh, well, the most upcoming one is uh, is one called the the Galaxy Forum that's been held for the first time in South China's a, an island province, Hainan province, uh, but that one is more academic focused. Uh, in addition to that, space events uh, will likely to take place uh, in, ne in the next year, uh, where China Space Day uh, is going to happen in April. And uh, the, uh, the other one is about the uh, deep Space Exploration Forum that usually takes place in September. So these are two international uh, conferences that's happening in China and you can look forward to. Fantastic. We are looking forward to, to hear from you, from reporting, and hopefully we will be able to come to China and visit you directly and just see with our eyes what's going on in your country. <laughs> <laughs> certainly, certainly. We definitely welcome you all to come by and join the discussions, uh, which bring all the, you know, uh, stakeholders of, of space and of basically our future together. Fantastic. Chen Chen, I wish you a fantastic continuation of the air show. And thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you. Thank you.